Hi, it's Mark McDonald with First United Methodist Church. As we continue our experience in God study, we are in week five, day four. That's a Thursday. This week, the, today's lesson starts off with three questions. How does God speak to me? How can I know when God is speaking? And how can God be more real and personal to me? So that's what starts off the study for the day, but then it goes into something that I found absolutely captivating, and it takes us through a journey, and it asks you to, to remember some of the verses that have leapt out at you over this time, Think some of the things that have spoken to you through the scriptures. Ask, In other words, what are your favorite verses? What has had the greatest impact on you when you read the scriptures? It doesn't have to be just experiencing God, although by now you've probably had some that have. But for me, my, my absolute favorite is Romans 8.28. Uh, for we know that God works all things together for good for those who love God and are called according to God's purpose. That's my, that's my all-time favorite. So anytime I, anybody asks me, Romans 8.28. But then there is another passage that, that is within that same letter of Romans and in that same pericope, that same section, where this is what Paul says. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Could oppression or anguish or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So that whole section there, Romans 8.28, is one that I have a story that goes with that. I've shared it before in church, but it is that I used to think of that as a passage that says everything happens for a reason. But over time I began to realize that all things work together for good does not mean that everything happens for a reason. What it means is that God can take anything that happens in our lives and turn it around for God's good, for God's purposes or wills. And so there are bad consequences because of our sinfulness, because of our selfishness. God doesn't want us to be sinful or selfish, but because of that, bad things can happen. But even when bad things happen, God can make those work together for good for those who love God and are called according to God's purpose. And then as, as you go a few verses later, it gets into that passage where it's like, what can separate us from the love of God then? Nothing. Those become so important to me. And the question for today is, as you think about what your favorite or most impactful verse may be of this series or verses, Maybe it's Psalm 23, or one, uh, some of my others are Psalm 103 and Psalm 130, and I have lots of scriptures that really jump out at me. Uh, I have a very close friend that says, you know, Lord, I believe, help me in my unbelief. That's his, and it's for the struggles in life. It, it is a way that God speaks to us through the scripture. So then the question is, how is God speaking to you through those? What is it that speaks to your soul in that? Now think about those three questions. As you think about, you'll, you'll spend some time today writing down, journaling in a sense in your workbook, what those scriptures mean to you, how God is speaking to you. And then you ask those three questions again. How does God speak to me? How can I know when God is speaking? How can God be more real and personal to me? When you put all that together, do you see how God speaks through scripture? And being able to look back at that and reflect on how God is speaking to us at different times helps us to understand how God speaks right now. Be a blessing today, my friends.